what a God good. After all that terrible complaining, he still sought us out. Not only did he heal the water so we could quench our thirst, but he brought us to a camp where, where there was more than enough space for all of us. Welcome to Andametri. We see where the children of Israel, after God heals the bitter waters of Marah, comes to the camp of Elim. This is a wonderful illustration of the generosity of God, even when we murmur against him. I want you to note that there was no mention of repentance for their murmuring, yet he delivers them in his mercy. Can you think of times when you murmured against God and yet somehow you were delivered from what you were experiencing? Did you repent of your words? Sometimes I like to tell people to put themselves in God's place. You are delivering a people. You are feeding them, taking care of them in every way, seeing to their need even before they do, yet all they do is complain. How would you feel? At the oasis of Elim, there are 70 palm trees and 12 wells, and the scripture said they camped by the waters. What jumps out at me is that there were 12 tribes of Israel and 70 families. Remember, it was 70 family members that went down to Egypt during the famine. In this single verse, we see a God who knows our needs, understands our needs, and provides for our needs, which is the very meaning of Jireh, as in Jehovah Jireh. Have you seen examples in your life where you were miraculously provided for? Or did you see it as a coincidence? Ironically, there is no such word in the Hebrew language for coincidence. According to graceintora.com, 15 implies salvation, healing, redemption, prolonging, stepping up, ascending, and fullness. The children of Israel camped at Elim for 15 days before entering the wilderness or the desert of sin. Let's put it together. Once we are saved, we are without a doubt going to experience several levels of testing. We have to deal with fear grumbling and murmuring our faith will be tested bitterness and the like in our hearts will be exposed and dealt with i want you to remember this when the word of god touches something inside of you do not feel condemned god exposed that area to heal you or bring closure or repentance the holy spirit convicts he doesn't condemn the scripture says there is therefore now now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk, walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. You will feel condemned if you are walking after the flesh. But if you walk after the spirit, you will not embrace condemnation. This does not mean there is no judgment for your sin. But the Holy Spirit does not highlight your sin for you to feel condemned. He highlights it to bring about repentance and turning, healing and forgiveness. I want you to remember this. Conviction from the Holy Spirit says, look, you made a wrong turn here. Let me help you get back on the right path. Condemnation, which is from the devil, says, you'll never get it right. May as well just continue sinning. Do you see the difference? Sometimes after a brief or prolonged warfare, he will bring you to a place of refreshing an elim where there is more than enough to refresh you, where you can just rest in his presence and be prepared for the next leg of the journey through the wilderness of sin. Let's meet on the tree so we can make the journey together.